y'all welcome back to the channel so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how i store my bags or essentially um the portion of my closet and then um what i'm now calling my boutique or layla's boutique i just kind of used to call it the loft or um you know where I keep my bag cabinets but I just really wasn't feeling that name so I decided I'm going to start actually calling it Layla's Boutique or my boutique but I wanted to go ahead and start in the closet and show you guys how I keep some of the larger bags and then of course like the uh, planner book bag and then the recent like Juicy Couture bags. so I'm going to get on the other side of the camera and I'm going to show you guys some things and then we'll move over to my boutique and I'll show you guys the rest of how I store things so let's flip this around so I can see okay so this is essentially, let me show you the top. So this is my side of the closet slash moving over to his. <laughs> so this is the white Juicy Couture backpack that I told you guys that I um, bought myself. And then this is one of my older tote bags. This is a Kate Spade tote bag. I keep my um, gun range gear in there with a the little bath and body works hand sanitizer on the outside. This is where we store like our lotions, deodorant, stuff like that. And then of course our purse and perfume purse. <laughs> perfume cologne all that fun stuff stand these large containers I keep like the overflow of my pajamas or like the off-season pajamas stuff like that as you can see right here it's definitely discolored it's not dirt it's just merely when I get out the shower after I put on lotion and stuff I put my hand under here and pull it to slide out and so residue of course over here is one of those bookshelves that you can use for different things this is mostly all of our travel stuff um, a couple of his colognes some of his sprays um, those are those like bag organizers and stuff that I don't like using in bags and then like a Too Faced pouch and then this is of course some of my sprays lotions and all that fun stuff up here is just a little decor um, I usually keep scissors a pen a sticky note some um, dress tape some note cards in case I want to make like shopping list what else do I have out there? A chapstick, nail clipper, just the stuff I need sometimes. This is my pepper spray that I usually wear on my body because I'm not going to be victim to nothing. And then this is just one of my necklaces that I need to hang up. I'm pretty sure I have shown you guys this before, but just in case you're new here, this is the overflow of sunglasses. This is what I call my jewelry wall. And so this is where I have all my jewelry. I've even got some belts hanging right over here on some like command hooks. And then more jewelry and bracelets and stuff down here to the floor. On the back of the door here is where I have a couple of my older bags that I don't care very much. This is one of those jewelry organizers you can hang up. Jazzy was cleaning her room, pulled it out of her closet. I wasn't using it, so we put it in her closet. And then she doesn't want it anymore, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Probably going to chuck it, but this is my super, super soft robe. And then here's just a couple more bags. Miss Shonda, I know you're going to watch, so ma'am. These are all these little uh, thingamabobs that I cannot stand. They were more than welcome to buy. Um, but yeah, so that's how the back of the door looks. And then over here, of course, it's all my clothes. <laughs> Not all of them, but you get the drift. So most of my clothes, some are in the dresser drawers. And then, of course, I've got more clothes down here at the bottom. And then one of my pair of house shoes and my other pair is over by the bed. And then on this row, I have a couple pair of capris. I'm not sure what I want to do with these boxes yet. And then these are my workout clothes when and if I do work out. All these storage bins have a couple of like older beauty pouches, larger beauty pouches. Um, I know this one has like a bunch of like straps in it. Like some of the straps that come with like the Coach Rogue and the, um, what's the other bag called? The Palm Spreeze Mini by Louis Vuitton. Um, those straps and then like I said, these are the Rogue straps, the long crossbody strap that it comes with. And then up there I've got some extra hangers, some more larger beauty pouches. This is that Juicy Couture backpack that... Um, Michelle got me for my birthday. Hey girl, hey, thank you. This is like a box that's got like some extra, like these boxes sometimes. I don't want to get rid of them. I want to keep them. And so I'll put them in here to decide what I'm going to do with them. And then in here is just a bunch of like loose pictures and stuff. And then behind here is my other pink backpack that I do usually use as a planner backpack. So I just have both those sitting there. Whew, I'm all out of breath, y'all. Holding this thing is not light. <laughs> And then up here is where I keep the super large bags. So I have the Coach Dempsey. I have my Damier Azor Neverfull GM. I have my, um, what was it called? The Jungle Print um, On The Go by Louis Vuitton. The GM size, so it's huge. And then the Artsy. So that um, dust bag is correct. Um, that is the monogram Artsy that is inside of that dust bag. So essentially that is the closet and where some of the larger bags are kept and where some of the older bags are kept so now we'll move on to my boutique and i will show you guys the rest okay so i, I as i walk out of my bedroom this is my view um so i'm gonna show you guys what things look like but this is 
stairway going down um and then over on that side is the kids rooms so yada 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 so anyway this is my boutique area right here so we have a couch we have all of my shoes and it is a little dark but i'm going to kind of maneuver it where we can get a little bit more light i have a couple of um bags up there smaller bags that i moved out of the cabinet so that i could fit everything and then over here wow i had way more lighting okay i was gonna say i had way more lighting when i tested it a few minutes ago um over here is where we have um a large screen tv and then there's a playstation tucked right in here and then i have a bunch of stuff on top and a bunch of stuff on the bottom so i'm just gonna kind of move up a little bit so you guys can see things kind of as an overview up the top i'm trying to move slow and kendra if you're watching look here's your, here's your sexy water bottle let me let me get in here and show y'all this i forgot to pull in um to yesterday's videos it was downstairs with water in it just like it is right now but this beautiful bottle my bestie got me off of amazon so i have been drinking my water out of there but just show you guys an overview of the top and yes, that is a camera. So don't come here and start no shit trying to take my shit. You will be on camera. <laughs> and then there is the corner over here. And then at the bottom, we have the actual bag cabinet. So let me show you this little corner over here. And I'm going to go over everything in a second. Um, the lighting isn't super, super amazing in here. But that ring light just be doing too much. So we're going to try and do this natural. And as long as I love it when I edit it, then I will upload it. So this is how everything looks. So I'll just start at the top. Sorry about my arm. Start at the top and then just kind of work my way over and then kind of go into the cabinets from there. So these are some of the other Juicy Couture backpacks that I picked up off of Macari. Some were in brand new condition with tags and some were like new condition. This one was brand new with tag. This is the, um, what do they call the color? Uh, fuchsia color um, mini backpack with a hanging tag and the front pocket, super cute. This is the brown one with the pink that I also picked up. And then you guys have seen my Brenna by Dooney and Burke, the DB75 multicolor and then the hydrangea print. And then one level lower, this is where I have my round, my <clears throat> round, <laughs> my round coin purses here. And we got the Louis Vuitton one. Then I have Louis Vuitton cosmetic case, a couple of larger pouches, larger pouches. This is my uh, toiletry 19 and monogram. These are my two um, quilted um, Napa leather from Coach kind of uh, wristlets. So these are good for like going out. So I put them here. Now they're not gonna wanna stand because they're not flat on the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm holding the camera so this is new for me. I felt like I can't really get in and show you guys stuff if it's on a tripod. Then I have my two Felici um, wallet. Essentially it's like a walk. It's like a wallet on chain but it's of course um, one inch so you get a little bit more space with those. Then on the lower level here I just have my newer bag from my friend Nicole in that sexy red. And then on this um, level in this tray I essentially just basically repurposed a Juicy Couture box. I have a couple of those Victoria's Secret um, keychains that you lovely ladies have. I wanted to try it out so I did order those too. And then I have my um, hand sanitizer holders just kind of chilling in here. So I got the gold one, the little pumpkin, you know, pumpkin spice latte one, and then I have two black bath and body works ones. So that's all that's on there. And then on the lower level, I have my purple um, bump bag from Coach, my um, rainbow one from Coach, the Pride Collection. This one is a DSW bag that my nail technician gave me for my birthday. So I just have that tucked in there. It's kind of a round shape one. And then this one is a Juicy Couture um, like crossbody bag. I bought it with the intent that I probably would use it as a pouch and cut the strap off. But when I got it home, I tried it on. I was like, you know, this might be cute for a little backyard barbecue. So I left the strap and kept it as is. Down here in the base, I have a couple of things that I use to like cut off tags. So like cut off the tag off a new purse or a new pouch. Um, nail clipper, this is a little razor blade and I'll link these down below. I actually, it looks like a little shape of a cloud, but I found these on Amazon and it does have a little blade that pops up and you can cut things. And then I just have a bunch of like the keychain rings that come on back charms. I don't really like to use them on there, but what I do like to do is actually put them on here. This is a three tier jewelry stand. And let me try to move that water bottle over a little bit. It's a three tier jewelry stand. And essentially I saw in another girl's videos quite, quite, quite some time ago um, that she was using it to hold all of her charms. So I was like, brilliant idea. So the ones that can fit over the thing here, I just hang them up. Like y'all see my gorgeous butterfly and the ones that can are the ones that the mouth doesn't really open big enough. I just essentially, um, <clears throat> essentially use the 
key rings that I take off of the bag charms and I just put them on there and then I'm able to clip stuff. So I just have a whole bunch of different bag charms from Vicky's Beauty Supply, Coach, 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 Coach. I love these butterflies, y'all. They need to come out with some purple ones to stop playing. This is the recent L I had shown in the video. Got that cute little apple from Coach. And then I have two of them. So this is the second one. This one has more bag charms on it. Lots of poof balls, this cute little high heel shoe butterfly all kind of cute stuff i do have two louis vuitton back charms that i use every now and again then i have these three beaded charms from cindy that i ordered forever and a day ago this i ordered for the graceful pm that i had a monogram this was for my damier i've been never full and of course i use it on my graceful sometimes and this one i think i ordered for a coach bag that i actually recently sold and then i used to put my hand sanitizer in here so that one's cute down here i have that little mini rogue which of course can hold a hand sanitizer people are into that whole mini bag thing and they put a chain on this and put credit cards in this it's tough as hell to get a credit card in there but you could do it if you want to these i can't remember if i saw these in a video or I just looked for these on amazon either way i found these um and order them these are those rings that you can put on your bags i'll show you an example like right here so when this part of your bag you can't really clip anything on it you put these little rings on it i don't even know what they're called spring o rings there you go it's called spring o rings i will be sure to link it down below got it off amazon i think it was 15 of them yeah 15 of them so i gave my mom a couple so she can clip it on her bags and be able to you know she's trying to get into the bag charm thing um underneath here i just have a little makeup organizer thing i got from like tj maxx for five bucks i just put it kind of on its um side laying down put my um jewelry stand on top of it and then i just put my shades in here that i wear most often so i have those in there and then these are like the infamous purple ones i've shown recently this is a Juicy Couture cosmetic pouch that I bought to keep some of the like rollover stuff. You know how some bags you don't carry like everything. So like my extra um, mask pouch, um, the clear bag to kind of put if I'm carrying a Vaquetta um, bag. Right now I only have gum in my bag. So the mints, stuff like that is essentially what I put in this particular pouch. And then just my cell phone hanging out. This here is the remote and I haven't used it in a while so I don't know if it's still going to work. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. But each cabinet I put up some of those little lights. So let me see if it's going to work. Probably not. Yeah because I've had the cabinets like a year now. But if I change the battery this is a remote that turns on the light inside of the cabinet. So if I wanted to like try and see things in dark or I just couldn't see them well that would help me do that. This remote is actually for this large TV here and of course it does go with the PlayStation. This is just a Dooney and Burke um, box that my wallet came in and I just kind of left it there in case I need it. This little tray just has these other palms on it that I actually had kind of taken apart a little bit. <clears throat> And put on my wallets i went through this phase where i wanted a palm on every single one of my wallets and so i have the little tools to open it up and kind of put those on there and some of these are duplicates where i like bought one for the bag but then bought one for um the wallet so i just left those there since they're kind of you know taken apart a little bit all right so then on top of this stand i recently grabbed some guest bracelets from burlington but i thought the box was cute and i didn't want to get rid of it yet so i kept it um this is my cute little thank you card from michelle that she sent me when she sent me my pouches back here is this little flawless like use it for whatever you want cup essentially it's for makeup brushes but you can do whatever you want um i pretty much use mine for trash so when i'm cutting off you know the tags or something small off the bag i just toss it in there and then i just empty that um this is my um highlighters an extra pen and a whiteout that i put in my pen pouch whenever i'm carrying a larger tote i grab that and then these are some of my pouches i already had for a while like this coach one i had this one for quite some time it is super cute and very large um and then this one i think i got from bath and body works way 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 back when like years ago this is one of the pouches i recently hauled and then this i was thinking about taking it back um let me get a great grip on it <laughs> i got this from walmart it was like a three pack i really just wanted the yellow pouch in the bottom on the shelf it said ten dollars so i'm like okay that's not bad three bucks is some change for each one so I grabbed it, I bought it, I get to the register, it's damn $12, which isn't a lot for three. That's only $4 each, it's not terrible, but I thought this yellow pouch would be super cute inside of the um, Pride Collection um, Coach Tote. And so I was going to take it back because I was like being, you know, being a bust about $12, but I decided to just go ahead and keep it. And now things are going to be difficult. They don't want to stand up. So they're not flat at the bottom. So of course they're like falling over. So second row, we have my sexy purple juicy backpack, you guys. So let me do the what's in my bag in. Then the pink one I just showed you yesterday that hubby got me for my birthday. And why does it seem like it's like not clear? There we go. Okay. 
Then this one I also picked up recently. I got this one from DD's Discounts, I think for 25, if I'm not mistaken. Oops. Yeah, 25. Is it focusing? Yeah, it is. So this one is essentially like the one I did the what's in my bag yesterday, only this one has the leather on the side. Um, no pocket in the front, this circle juicy, so it's a little bit different from the other one, but I thought it was cute. I was going through a little mini phase here where I was kind of like, I don't want to carry a brown bag. All my Louis bags are brown, but I'm into juicy and that one is super cute, so I added to cart. <laughs> and then I found this one in Didi's as well. I want to say it was 28 or 27. So this one's 27. This one is basically like the, the other uh, debossed items. Sorry, the strap is like catching the rack here. Okay. So it's like the other um, debossed items. So it's super cute. I love the black. It gives me options. I can go all black with accessories or I can just go, you know, any color accessories on the inside that I want. So super excited about that. And then we talked about the PlayStation stuff at the bottom. So then over here, I have this cute little flower plant that used to kind of, um, you know, sit on here for decor. And then I added these two little shelves, so it didn't really have much space. So then I just kind of tossed it in the corner. And then up here in this corner, as you can see, I have my two uh, rainbow Juicy Couture mini backpacks. So I have the white one in the back and the black one in the front. Definitely got to rock that black one soon. The white one's gotten some love already. So then this little stand is actually a metal wall decor stand. I didn't take off that paper because it doesn't have a back and I just left the price tag on. I found it at Burlington a couple of weeks ago. I needed something to reorganize my SLGs. Oh, and this little cutie uh, Nicole gave me with my red um juicy couture bag and then these are my what's the name bagnet <laughs> these are my bagnet um little charms that can hold your bag up if your bag is eight pounds or less these specific ones only do eight pounds or less um and since this was metal i did just go ahead and put them there kind of as decor and you know some place to organize them so up here i have all of my card holders i want to pull out the ones that you guys might not have seen i do have the matching one for the black backpack um, you saw the red. I want to show you guys all the stuff because some of it I hauled. I did haul that one already. This is the brown one that I picked up to go with that brown satchel. It also could go with the brown backpack. You saw that in the what's in my bag. Um, got this little cutie and it's going to go very well with that pink um, rogue that I have. This has purple so yep add to cart. <laughs> then we have the hot pink here. The fuchsia. This goes with the fuchsia backpack. And I think that's all the recent ones I hauled because I showed you guys that one in the what's in my bag. And then these are just some of the other ones I have, like the Buffalo plaid, which I've shown before in a what's in my bag. Um, this one, let's see, I have the pink zip around one. What else is in here? This I got from the Dollar Tree. I was thinking about putting business cards in it. It's just super cute. Um, but I kind of like the clear one with the glitter better. And then this is a Notique one. It came like in a set of four when I ordered my laptop case. It wasn't a way to order it separately. I kind of wanted the small one and the laptop one. So I did just pick that one up. And then in the front here, I have those two lanyard ID holders that come in those little gift packs with Juicy. But I don't need a lanyard. So I cut it off. <laughs> I literally took my scissors and cut it off. So let me try to get a good view of that. So yep, cut it off. Plan to use it as an extra card holder if I need to um, in a smaller bag. So then on the lower level, lots of wallets. So we got those medium zip wallets from Coach that I did a whole video on before. Um, this one is a super older wallet that I have. It's a Michael Kors Snap Wallet. I'll show you the inside of this one. Just looks like so. It's kind of similar to the Snap Wallets, you know, from Juicy Couture, just a little bit thicker. Then I have this pleated one, super cute. I found this one for me and Michelle to go with our backpack that looks like this. So love that. Then I have the purple Snap Wallet. You've seen in the what's in the bag. This one goes with that crossbody I just showed. Why does this not look clear? Super cute snap wallet. So it opens and looks just like the other ones on the inside. So this one did come in a little set. I want to say that set was $25 maybe. Then I do have the um, pink lemonade one. So it's going to be perfect because it will go with the backpack that hubby got me for me birthday. Me birthday. Uh-oh. And then this one I picked up with that wristlet that you guys keep showing and I wanted to kind of try this one out as a snap wallet. I don't really know which bag yet, but I'm thinking either of my rainbow bags would actually um, be super cute. It's an like extra option for extra cards. So probably put that in there. 
so much y'all so much so i don't know if y'all really would want me to go through every single one of these but we got my purple coach wallet this is called i think the wind wallet from coach um then i have another style that's similar to the wind but has a different name then i have another win in the black that goes with one of my um coach bags i think it's called the coach parker if i'm not mistaken and because i have their these doubled they are starting to fall over but i do have the red juicy wallet which i could also use with that crossbody bag if i want um move this tag then these are a couple more of that coach medium zip wallet this is the db75 um what's it called continental wallet trying to get this tag out the way jesus sorry Okay, <laughs> the DB75 Continental Wallet from Dunienberg. Then I've got the Hydrangea one. Then I've got this one I showed you guys in that haul video. This is the Snap. Um, come on now, focus. I know you're working with limited light over here in the corner. But the Juicy Couture Snap Wallet. And then I do have the large Zip Around Wallet in that Orchid. Y'all already know it's purple. I'm going to grab it. And then this black um, DeBoss one I also showed in the haul video. So this is the one that Mommy ended up getting me for my birthday um, since she did not let me cash up her. So I will organize those a little neater later. Then these are some of the catch-all pouches I have. Let me try to move this out of the way. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Try not to cut tags off of stuff. I'm like this with my clothes too. I don't cut the tag off until I'm actually using it or like, you know, about to wear it. Um, let me see if I can't tuck that up there. Okay. So these are those two like clear ones that people kind of get from, um, come on now. Don't seem clear. Get from Walmart. A couple of Ipsy pouches back. Ah! Oh, that's going to break my heart. Okay, so I'm gonna have to dig that out <laughs> later. Um, cute little pouch from Dollar Tree. Then I have my Nolita, um, 19 in purple, the 15 in the rainbow, the Hydrangea pouch I showed, um, Coach pouch I've had for a while, Ipsy pouch, and then a couple of those Coach medium zip um, wristlets and all kinds of different colors. I got lots and lots and lots of them. The red one I just showed in the what's in my bag, the leopard to go with the toad, and then of course the rainbow to go with the toad. So I will organize that later and dig back there and get those pouches. Over here we have this stand that I got from Burlington a long time ago. Um, I intended to put it on the bathroom sink, but it was a little bit tall. I thought I could maneuver it under there and it just wasn't working out. So I decided to use it in here. And in here, I just have more catch-all pouches. So lots of catch-all pouches in here. Cute pouches. That's the one I hold. Got this sweater one from Simply Gilded. And then just pouches galore. A juicy one I recently hauled and used in the MCM Liz tote. Let's see in here. We have some more. These are um, the juicy pouches that came with these uh, mini backpacks. They come with that little pouch in the front. Um, this one came in one of those little sets where it's like a crossbody and then it has a pouch in the front. Let's see, then we got the black one, the white one. What else? Trying to do with one hand. And these are those gorgeous melanin popping pouches that I showed you guys off Amazon. I linked in that haul video. What else we have here? This cute pride one from Walmart. Then these cute ones that I had hauled from Dollar Tree. And then this is that crossbody. And it's for me, let me use my knee. <laughs> for me, this is definitely too little to be a crossbody. So I definitely cut the strap off. That's what I had the intention to do when I purchased it. I just wanted this for a pouch. I thought I could possibly toss this inside of that new coach um, city tote in purple. And the, come on, get back there. The lighter shade of purple pouch that is right here is the one that came in front of it. So it's the one that was sitting right in the front of it. That crossbody comes with a pouch in the front and that's the one that was in the front. And I'm sorry, this curtain is kind of in the way, y'all. Kind of hard doing this with one hand, especially because I'm having to use my left hand. <laughs> All right, so the next drawer is where I have most of the pin pouches. So these are the kind of uh, slimmer pouches, the ones that I hauled recently with the You're Like Really Pretty. Um, some of these are from, ooh, what's it called? Pin Gems. <laughs> these came with pin bundles. And then that's another pin gem. This one came from the planner spot. It says every day I'm plannering. And then these are those ones I talked about in yesterday's video and I linked it in the um, the description. The little zip pouches, the mesh, mesh, however you say it, zip pouches. I bought them, like I said, to be pencil pouches, um, but they are large enough to be either or. So they could be pencil pouches or different type of catch-all, depending on, you know, what color you need, what bag you're in. Uh-oh, get in there. 
Okay. And then the bottom one is where I just have my sunglass stuff. So this is my latest Louis Vuitton purchase, the actual um, Sunrise Pastel colorway of the sunglass case. I love that thing. Then I have my Coach one in the, hmm, I don't remember that collection was called, the bright neon colored one. So that one. And then I just have those other little sleeves. Um, let me show you this one so you can kind of see. The little sleeves that pop open from the top and you slide your glasses in when you want to put them in. A smaller bag or just don't want the big bundle and then this is an extra one of those little um cloths to clean them oh y'all that's a workout <laughs> trying to balance out my leg and use my arm so now we'll move down here into the cabinet and i'll start over on this side i did do a video on these cabinets let me see if i can't zoom y'all see my laundry baskets don't judge me i got work to do um, <laughs> I got these cabinets online from Target. I linked them in the bag video and I'll try and link that video down below. If you peek right here, you can see that's the little light I was talking about. So I did install one on each level, um, but I really haven't used them much. So the battery is dead. So this one contains mostly rogues. I have the purple one in the front and I don't remember all the colors of them, so I'm sorry. Um, but I've got the green one chilling back there. Then over here I have my two python handle ones so I have my pink one and I got the straps tied together because they'll fall over and I want them to keep their shape and their position they're tied together with the coach ribbon the one that comes on the box when you order from the boutique so in the back here I have the um yellow snake handle one and then over here I have I think I did a what's in my bag in this one um the T rose print one it's super pretty I love 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 this one so I did consider selling some, but I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I changed my mind. Down here, <laughs> I have that um, green one with that gorgeous color. Oh God, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty, so pretty. So I have this one and you see how these handles kind of fall in. That's the way the newer rogues are set up, but I like to keep them standing if possible. So that's why I do tie them together. Um, back there, I have my Coach Sutton, and I absolutely and always will blame Miss Julia B for that one, but I love that bag, y'all. I'm a hobo kind of girl, so I am so thankful for her showing her little video and what's in my bag, because, um, yeah, that video made me buy it, sis. You two made me buy it. <laughs> this is my black one. This is the very first Rogue I bought um, online from the boutique. Um, I had just found out about Rogues last summer, and I was interested to see what they were like, so I thought rather than you know purchasing one pre-loved um from the facebook group or from ebay or anything like that it would be better to order from the boutique this way if i didn't like it i could definitely send it back so that's what this cutie is um so this is the black one <clears throat> and she looks like so and this was really like since one of the michael kors bags i've owned for years this is really like the next all black bag i had and the back here is this cute little pink beauty she is just everything this is the one that looks really good um next to um what do you call it the the card holder from juicy couture where i said that pink looks really good next to this the full-size wallet does too they're the same color but full-size wallets even medium wallets are for me a bad idea in here because they take up too much space and back there uh oh back there is one of those little sachet pouches um let's see if you can still smell it oh you can okay so this is one of those little um sachet pouches i don't i don't know what their real name are let me see if it says on here Mm, I'll start me the line. Anyway, these are from, these particular ones um, are from Kirkland's. When I first purchased the cabinets, of course, with them being um, solid wood, they did um, have that kind of wood smell and I didn't want my bags to smell like wood. So I did slide those um, in the back of each of the cabinet to try to help, you know, reduce that. And it does, it does work because the bags smell like me, like perfume, all scentsy, like the rest of my house. My friends will tell you they come over they're like girl your house always smells good but i don't intentionally do it i just like good smelling stuff so of course we have our city tote here in the pride collection and i do have a um a key ring on here to help clip on stuff so now that i know <laughs> amazon sells the ones you can actually put on there that's designed for that then of course i can use that on all my other bags so i have that tucked in the corner uh -oh. and that is all the bags in this first cabinet so let me slide myself over all right so now we are here at the second cabinet okay so inside of the second cabinet 
we have our never fools we have uh coach cassie a dempsey carry all the michael kors what was it called the manhattan bag i think um and then of course some more never fools so these are all my mm never fools so as you can see i do have six i have the emprunt one in the noir aka black i have the uh, coach cassie in black which i considered selling because i do love my pochette matisse but this is a good weather free bag plus the black strap is perfect for me to crossbody my palm springs mini so i chose to keep her this is the coach dempsey bag this is what she looks like a carry-all i do have a what's in my bag on my channel with this beauty excuse me as y'all can see, I'm running out of room. Got a layer bag. So this is that Hamilton bag and that gorgeous baby pink with that gold. Yes, please. Then, of course, I have, uh-oh, bump the door there. Then I have that teal one. Super pretty. I don't remember the official color. And you know what I just thought about? I should take that out because then if I wanted to use it with something else, I wouldn't be able to because I would forget that it's in here. So I'm going to pull that card holder out of there. Let me close this back up. Sorry, y'all. Trying to maneuver this thing with one hand. So I do have the matching card holder from Michael Kors. It's got the silver hardware with the zipper at the top. Come on now, focus. That is not clear. You know what I think, you guys? Sometimes I focus on getting it centered between the camera and the viewfinder and not the actual lens of the camera. I think that's where I'd be screwing up. So that might be my problem. Might have just figured out my own problem because I'm looking at the viewfinder, of course. Um, and then of course you got the little slit here and the card pockets in the back. So I'm gonna move that up to with the card holders. But I do have that pretty teal color. And then finally, we do have this beauty and y'all see her charm is just blinging. I thought I could wear her with her too. I could. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I don't have a camera pointing at what it should be pointing at. But look how pretty that is. Love, love, love this one. So this is the white one with those gorgeous neon colors and that iridescent hardware. I love this one. Love, love, love this one. I actually have a pair of all white and um, orange bottom Jordan 11s. But I kind of sort of messed them up. <laughs> so they're actually at the repair shop due to be shipped soon so hopefully i can wear this bag and those sneakers together soon because you know those sneakers look really good in the summer but this beauty is gorgeous um definitely might you know consider moving this charm to this bag when i carry it sometimes because it's super cute and i think it would go both ways um now that i'm looking at the charm hmm no i could go in a couple of bags but we may leave her here so we'll go ahead and slide these back in there Slide them back in there. All right. Then over here we have the most recent purchase. This is the Neverfull MM in that um, summer collection. That color was Sunrise Pastel. Y'all already know when it had the purple. Mm -hmm. Add two part all the way, all the way. Gimme, gimme. Then down here we have our classics. So I do have the DE with the red interior. And then I have the Damier Zor. Mine has the pink interior, the Rose Ballerine. And then I have the Monogram, which also has that pink interior. And then over here, we have the By the Pool collection. I forget what this color was called. I call it Pink Lemonade. That's literally the name of the bag. But I do really, really love the cute little charm that came on the front of this one. Kind of just makes you think about vacation and relaxing and drinking some Pink Lemonade. <laughs> so that is everything that's in my second cabinet so this is the second bag cabinet so we'll close those and move on to the third all right y'all sorry i take a little water break okay so as i was saying moving on to the third cabinet over here let me try see if i can't tuck this curtain a little bit it's not gonna cooperate okay so this is the third cabinet from the outside all righty so right here where you see this hole this is where the um, juicy couture satchel that i'm currently carrying that's where it sits right in there in this corner i do have my coach parker with the signature canvas that rust color and then that snake on the side i love my dog tag on this one see it says sb come on now there you go acting up and it's in that like sparkle in that cute <laughs> so i do like that bag but this is one of those flat bags where the strap is attached to the top so that's one of the bags that i will not buy anymore not just the parker but just any bags where the strap is attached to the flap it is kind of fussy for me 
on the go um, but I do still love it and of course do still wear it um, this one is another one that I picked up I told you guys <laughs> that I got a million <laughs> juicy couture items and I just I didn't have them all by the time the haul video was filmed so this is one that came afterwards I did find this one on Macari brand new it does still have the black pouch in the front because I haven't cut the little tag off yet I just tucked her in here so this one goes with the other pouch I showed you as well as the card holder this is what she looks like from the back and the bottom so this one's cute back there you see I do have my Dooney and Burke hydrangea bag and then as you can see over here to the right I have two coach city totes so I do have the leopard print one um, and there is a what's in my bag video on this one on my channel and then of course the purple one she is going to get some glory soon need to move into her and rock her but I've been trying to wear other bags that aren't totes all the time so that's the top level and then on the bottom we have quite a few goodies tucked in here so over here on the left we have my palm springs mini let me move this out the way it is in the reverse print i love the reverse this is my only reverse pack uh, this is my only reverse print bag from louis vuitton when it first came out i did not like it at all but it grew on me and then I really really wanted a Palm Springs mini so I did add this to my collection it does have one of those rings on it this one I actually put on here from one of those bag nets, and I just never took it off because I'm like I can always switch the bag net, you know the ring so I just tossed this one on here as you can see I moved out the way my Pouchette Matisse uh, I did get this one brand new um, when I first found out about it I was super excited I've said in the video because I do have like a what's in my bag on this bag and I talked about how this shape is the very first purse my mom ever bought me so this is definitely a forever bag I love my Pouchette Matisse so we have her my only problem with her and I was just talking to Cindy about it last night because she carried her reverse print uh, Matisse yesterday and it looks like Julia B did too because she posted a video so I still need to watch it but <laughs> super cute um I don't like the canvas strap that comes with this one it's very pretty um but I don't have a lot of meat on my shoulder <laughs> and so it's uncomfortable for me it digs in um so I at some point plan to buy a vaquetta strap either from Louis Vuitton but more than likely not no point paying those coins if I don't have to more than likely I'm going to get one from Organize My Bag or from Amazon so that I can still wear it and it's more comfortable especially because this is large enough to fit Sky 9 in the middle and when you do add that middle and you use that canvas strap for me it digs in and it's uncomfortable so Pochette Matisse and then Palm Springs Mini and then back here I have my two um, Pochette Accessoires if I'm saying those right I do have the monogram and then I also have the Azure so these two babies are my ride or dies I use these a lot when we go out of town or go on vacation they make great little um, you know shoulder bags and then I have a gold chain um, that I use and I remove the vaquetta strap and I use the gold chain um, and kind of wear it as a crossbody and then hiding back here is my sexy little Neo no way with her cute little self ain't she cute she's so cute let me pull her out so I can show you guys her straps so this is my Neo no way that hubby got me a couple of Christmases ago it is the one with the pink interior I think they call it rose poudre I don't think they call it rose ballerine but she's got air paper in her but this is the pink interior um, her strap is right here so this is the strap for it and as you know you can lengthen it and make her crossbody and then I did purchase this off Amazon in that pink and black I wish it was brown but it's okay because it does blend pretty well and doesn't look bad and I love being able to grab it out of the seat of my car and just kind of you know hop out and go and do what I need to do so let me just maneuver this back up as best I can all right and try and tuck her back there and try and get these two beauties back in there sometimes getting this stuff tucked back all nice and neat the way it was isn't always easy but keep them in there like so they usually fit pretty well and then over here as you can see the de print this is the graceful that i was just in and i just did the re not reverse but what's in my bag bag switch with this little beauty yesterday so she is cute on her glory with her red interior and then over here is my last large bag and this is going to be my um mcm liz that i recently got myself for my birthday this is in the pink powder color as you can see i do have um one of those rings on it so that i can clip back charms but she is super super cute and then of course on the inside you do have the um pouch that she comes with so that is my 
large, large, excuse me, last <laughs> large bag. And then, oh, okay, got it, sorry. Okay, so that is the third bag cabinet. Let me push those back just a little bit more, okay. So that's the third bag cabinet. And then over here in the corner, I recently added this. This is one of those little three tier shower stands. Let me move the curtain out. Now these blinds are open and I know you guys are probably like, wait, didn't you just show forget a, forget a, bleh, bucket of bags like right here, like in here, sis, that's a terrible idea. I don't want to get y'all dizzy, but it is a terrible idea. It's supposed to rain. It has been raining. It's cloudy. It has not been sunny today. And we do not open these blinds all day. I open them just so I could have maximum light to film this video. So these are normally closed. Um, we really do not open them often at all because all my bags are right here with the clear glass in front of them. So anywho, this three tier little shower stand is essentially for a bathroom to put in your shower, even on the counter. I think it's called a spa tower. Yeah, so I picked this up from Dee Dee's for 13 bucks, and I thought it would be great to go right here in this corner that was really wasted space. Like there was nothing here, but yet I have so many things that I needed to store. So I decided to put wristlets that don't um, go to a bag specifically right here on top. Then in the middle, I have my heart pouches. So this is my coach heart pouch that matches the other pouch I showed you. I've had this for quite some time. like five six seven years time and then these are all the juicy pouches that I have picked up recently super cute love 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 between Burlington and Dee Dee's um, I did manage to get those I still need the white rainbow um, up there mini backpack I still need the white one but Cindy did find me the black one so I'm good on the black one but I do need the white one so if you guys happen to see it somewhere please let me know um, and then down here in the lower level sorry not trying to get you guys dizzy but down here in the lower level I do have my two little kiss lock pouches so I've got the one I got from Amazon um, and then I got the one from um, Dooney and Burke the DB 75 print one these are this is a cute little like um, like a glass vase um, I hauled it from like Big Lots like forever and a day ago, but it's really, really heavy. So I wanted it to be on the bottom and not on any of the upper levels. Um, but this houses those little pouches that I've been putting my Q-tips and uh, brush strips in. So all the little pouches from Five Below that I showed you guys in the haul video. The Can't Even, the Drip. Um, I got this rainbow one because I thought it would be really pretty inside the, um, the Pride bum bag as well as the um, tote. And then of course the infamous coffee. Now mine is a little, the stitching was like this when I got it, but I didn't realize that it was supposed to be closed. I thought maybe that helped you get in the pouch. Look at me, all out of frame. Um, I was looking at the item and not at the viewfinder to make sure I was in, but my stitching is a little bit open. It's not a bad thing. I can easily cut it, keep it moving, don't worry about it. But for $4.50, I would like to pick up another one of these if I could. So if you ladies happen to see one in your five below, please let me know. And then, let me get my old self up. So as I showed you guys, I have these huge, I think 10 tier shoe stand here. So these are all of my shoes, except for like a pair or two of flip flops that's at the front door. I probably got a pair or two of Jordans in the garage, in the mud room. Um, and then I keep all of my flip flops on the wall in one of those um, over the door shoe organizers. I keep all the flip-flops in there so that they don't have to take up space on my stand. And if you are texting me, Michelle, Shonda, Cindy, I know you guys, we talk a lot. Oh my goodness, this denim one is cute. I'm super sorry <laughs> that I'm not responding. I'm trying to film this video. But I wanted to show you guys what bags are up here. They used to be in the cabinets, but since I purchased all the juicy stuff and of course got another Louis bag, I, I needed the space. So this is the Cream Napa Leather Coach Claire. Um, and then on this end is the same thing. It's in black. This is the uh, mini, ooh, I forgot what this bag is called. Um, but it's the mini little duffel bag from Coach in the Buffalo Plaid. And this is the Riley that I picked up last year when I was in Puerto Rico. And then I picked it up for the Puerto Rico trip. And then this one is the, ooh. See what happens when you own bags for a while? I don't remember the name. <laughs> but this one is the cute little um, Coach Napa leather um, backpack that you can wear as a backpack. It has like four different ways you can wear the straps. I really would just wear mine either as a short shoulder carry or as across the front of my chest. So that's what I have up here. Yes, they are sitting on my curtain rod. That's the end of it. And it, to me, 
some people may say it's tacky you you know to each his own you do you boo you feel how you feel but i think it looks really cute over there i have taller boots on this side so i don't think i will be extending the purses all the way over my goal is not to outgrow the space <laughs> completely um but so far that's where we are so the final thing is um one my couch so this is where i sit when i can't decide what bag to move in and sometimes i also sit here with all the um, the next bag and the next accessories and pouches and I will switch my bags right here Most times I do it on my bed But sometimes I do sit right here and do it or like I said sit here and try to figure out What outfit I'm gonna wear what shoes go with what bag where am I going? Do I need a small bag a big bag all that fun stuff? And then lastly if anybody has been wondering where the hell is all of her Louis Vuitton accessories and SLGs here They are so back when I first started buying Louis people were talking about this really hard in the Facebook groups It's one of those spinning display cases it was pricey i wouldn't buy it again um if i didn't already have it i would just get something else but it was like 80 90 dollars for this i'll try to look way back in my orders i've had it for a couple years and try to link it in this video but i do want to show you guys what's in here i don't think i need to take them out i think i can point because it is clear so we have the um <clears throat> the escale print mini pochette then we have the um rose ballerine key pouch we have the de victorine the DE um, mini pochette, the DE key clay, the DA key clay. <laughs> um, then we have the Damier Azor with the LV. I forget. I think it was called Tahitian, if I'm not mistaken. This is the Tahitian line um, mini pochette. And then, of course, the Victorine wallet. Then I have the monogram one at the bottom. This one does have the rose ballerine interior. Then we have the mini pochette. This does have a blue interior. And then the key clay to match. And then on the other side, I have the um, pouches that come, oops, sorry, the pouches that come inside of, um, what do you call it? The Felici. <laughs> then underneath here I have the, um, what's it called? Zippy coin purse. This one is the Sunrise Pastel with the purple on it. And then underneath here is the Sarah wallet and the monogram. Down here we have another Victorine wallet in the black or the noir. Then we have a red key pouch. And then we have my reverse card holder that I like to use with my Palm Spring Mini and sometimes my Pouchette Matisse. Down here we have the blueprint of the Escal collection. This was the medium Kirigami. Um, Hubby said he liked it, so I purchased it, and we were kind of keeping some things in his car in there. Um, but then he was like, "Oh, we don't really need it for that." So I started using it as a pencil pouch for a little while, um, and then I kind of just haven't used it recently. So definitely need to reincorporate some of these things and use them more often. Um, don't we all? <laughs> we own so many things. Sometimes it just doesn't happen often. This is the Rosalie coin purse, I think it's called, with the rose ballerine interior down here you do see the two pink pouches from the Felici then there is another Victorine wallet down here let me see if you can see it from the side I might need to pull it out might want to be a little bit hard to see um, this is another Victorine wallet this one goes with the by the pool never full and while I got it open I will pull this out so you can see it a little better this was the um, zippy compact wallet in the sunrise pastel color so I have that tucked under there and it does have a key where you can lock it and pull the key out i usually just leave the key in there and then lastly underneath here was another um zippy coin purse this one is in monogram um it's like the 2018 edition or 2017 something like that it's got the little polar bear skiing on that one so that's what that one is so that is my little display case i sometimes flip it just to see the other side and kind of see things different and it's just sitting on like a end table um next to the couch with a couple of other things we're still trying to figure out where to put um and cleaning up and stuff like that so let me get myself up Ooh. so yeah this is layla's boutique um as a whole let me back up essentially this is what it looks like when the kids come out of their rooms and walk towards this way because again their rooms are behind me um but yeah this is how and where i saw all, store all of my bags a couple of things i have added within the last couple of weeks because i did need to maximize maximize my space you know with all the you know new bags and stuff that i had picked up um but yeah this is where everything is housed and how everything looks so i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see y'all the next one Bye bye